Hello and welcome guys. In the last video we saw how to navigate inside Maya, how to create new objects and also how to move, rotate and scale them. So in this video we are going to learn how to create a vase. So for that we are going to go inside our front viewport and click on view, go to image plane, import image and look at our reference image also i'll provide you this reference image in the link description go ahead and download it so i'll go ahead and open this and adjust it so that it is above the grid line so now a vase closely resembles a shape of a cylinder so what we are going to use is a cylinder so go ahead and click on cylinder and now here we have a cylinder so now we can scale the cylinder to match with this shape i'll turn on my x-ray mode and i'll try to match it closely with the reference but now I can't really change this area of the cylinder. There's a way to do that. We can go into edit mode of any object inside Maya by holding right click on the object and you can edit vertices, edges and face. So I'll select the vertex option and select all the vertices over here by dragging over them. And if I go into my perspective view, you can see that it has selected all the vertices on the top. So now I'll go back to my front view and now I'll scale them by pressing R, move it by pressing W. And now we have a rough shape of the base. We are going to add more details later on, but at first we are just going to focus on creating the rough shape of the vase. So now we have the base. So what we need is we need this shape. So to do that, we need to use a tool called extrude. So what extrude will do is it will add more polygons to the selected polygons. So I'll select these faces. One way to select is select this. I'll hold Q to disable the axis. So I can select these faces by holding shift select this. And this is a very, very tedious process. A faster way to do this would be just holding tab on your keyboard and then dragging your mouse through the faces that you want to select. So now I have selected all these faces in the perspective mode. Right now you can't see anything in the front mode because they are in the perspective mode. So now what I'll do is I'll hold Ctrl plus E to extrude. And I have a dialog box where it says to increase the thickness. Increase thickness and change the offset. So now we have matched with this area of the shape. So now what we need is we need to add one more extra. So press Ctrl plus E again and then increase the thickness. And again, try to match with the shape. So now this is actually quite slower. So what we can do is instead of pressing Ctrl E every time, there is a faster way to extrude. So what you can do is just go into your move tool by pressing W, hold shift on your keyboard and Click on this axis and drag up. So now that's how you extrude it. Press W again, hold shift and middle left mouse click and drag and now scale it. Press W again, shift, shift drag with left mouse and then scale. Press W, shift, left click and drag and scale so i'll continue with this process 
until I match with the shape. Go into vertex mode again and scaling them. We can also go into edge mode and double clicking on this edge and it will select all the edges. It will select all the edges in the loop. So I'll go back to my front view and do some adjustment with the edges. I'll adjust the edges that I have created first that is using the extrude and then once it is matching with the reference select then I can add more edges so now we have a rough shape of the bus but it is not the perfect one I mean it is not really perfect we need a lot more things to be done so uh, I'll go to the front view again and I need some more resolution here, more curve here. How do we do that? We do that by adding more edges. So there are multiple ways to add an edge in Maya. So right now I'm going to focus on the multi-cut tool. You can select this option for multi-cut or you can press Control shift and X to turn on multi-cut so if i want to insert an edge in between what i'll do is i'll hold control on my keyboard while the edge is highlighted in red and now when i move my cursor up and down the orange line moves as well also you can see the percentage changing so if i want to insert the edge exactly in the center that is to the 50% of this whole edge I can do is while holding control I can middle mouse click and it will add an edge exactly in the center so now what I need to do is hold press Q on my keyboard and go into edge mode double click this edge and change the scale of this edge so right now you saw that I had to adjust the edge uh, and change the scale to match with the shape so there's an option in multi-cut that can help us to make our work much more faster that is like if you hold control shift and right if you hold shift and right click and just near multi-cut there's a box here there's an option called edge flow when you turn this on what it will do is create an edge between those two edges and also average them so when i middle mouse click while holding control here so when i click here by middle mouse button it will create an edge exactly in the center also it will average between those two edges and it saved me the job of scaling this edge. Again, I'll go to multi-cut again by holding Control Shift X. Make sure edge flow is on. Hold Control on the keyboard and middle mouse button. Do the same here. Hold Control, middle mouse button. Hold control, middle mouse button, hold control, middle mouse button till we get closer to our shape. But obviously, we need to do some adjustment. But the work that we need to do is definitely reduced. So now we need to add one more edge here. Control Shift X again. So now see what happens when I 
add an edge using the multi cut tool and the edge flow turned on and then do much because the average of this vertex and this vertex isn't a curved one so i'll select this edge move it up scale and now i'll go back here and select this edge and add a bevel to do that hold shift right click click on bevel and now you can change the height or fraction of the bevel and also add segments so what bevel does is it makes your edges much more curved and smoother so right now I'm trying to increase the segment, but it is not changing anything. The reason is because this circle. So if I click on this circle, the pie shape changes and it allows me to add more edges with less effort. So if I just increase this to more, I can add more edges. So I'll just leave it to somewhere around here and add a few edges and decrease the friction. So you observe that it is moving much more faster. So to control that either I can click on this pie icon till the blue portion is very small or I can just hold control and shift and then click and drag. And now I get much more precise movement. I'll decrease this to maybe two. And select this edge again. And then add a bevel, shift right click bevel, or you can press control B on your keyboard to bevel. Add a small amount of bevel here with two edges. Go back to perspective view. Turn off the x-ray, move our image plane to the back and now we have a shape that resembles a vase. Now the shading is a little bit weird, hold, select this object, hold shift, right click, soften harden edge and soften harden edge to fix the shading. So now what I will do is I'll go into my edge mode and do an edit edge flow on the edges so that the distance between edges is much more gradual. So what this will do is fix any, any kind of unevenness in the edge. I'm pressing G on my keyboard for repeating the same command. So if I click here and press G, it is repeating the edit edge flow command. If I press G, select this, move it down. Now, if I try to move this down like this, I will have to scale it and again, match it with the reference which is a tedious task. So to avoid that, what you can do is just select this and hold Control and Shift on your keyboard. You see an option called Slide. So what it will do is it will avoid any major change in your shape. It will maintain the shape and then you wouldn't have to adjust, adjust it again and again. And now I think I need one more edge here. Go into multi-cut by pressing Control shift x again Control and click and now go into edge mode and now you see the unevenness between these two faces so that is fixed by edge to edge flow it will not make the faces exactly square but they will make changes happening in the edges a lot more gradual and smoother instead of this So let's say you have made a vase that 
has an edge flow like this what you can do is select this edge press G on your keyboard select this press G it will fix the overall edges I'm continuously pressing G. G is not a shortcut for edit edge flow. G is a shortcut for repeating the last command. Let's say for example if you use extrude and you would have to use extrude again and again or bevel again and again. What you would do is just press G instead of pressing Ctrl E again and again. But you have to use it at least once so that it will get registered as a last command okay so now i'll turn on the wireframe and the topology looks quite decent and now what i'll do is i'll make the inner part of the vas so i'll select the vas go into face mode zoom in hold tab on my keyboard and select all these faces and delete so now the vase is empty from inside and now I'll just go ahead and press Ctrl plus E and hold Ctrl and Shift to change the thickness with a smaller and more controllable value. I don't want something that goes like this. This is very out of control I can say. So hold Ctrl and Shift and change the thickness. I think this much should be enough for a vase. Go into object mode. Now you may notice that, let me just turn off my wireframe first. Now you may notice that this turned black. That's because of the normals turning inward. So to flip the normals, what you need to do is select the object, go into mesh display and reverse. and now let's add a bevel on these edges to make this much more curved select these edges i double click on this edge to select the whole loop press ctrl b add one segment maybe increase the friction a little bit and done so now our was is complete. Let's add a reflective material to it. Hold right click on your keyboard. Assign new material. I will assign a fong material. So that it looks much shiny and nice. Select this. Press 3 on your keyboard for smooth preview. And now it looks much more nicer so that's it for today i hope you have learned something see you guys next time